now everybody is saying what Maya really inspired me to do this what Maya has really inspired me what Maya made me realize that i'm an african and i need to go back to where i belong to of course and if i should tell you you also know where what Maya started his journey do you really know have you ever come to think of it now be with me i am going to share to you the story of Ford Meyer, how he started his YouTube career. Was it by accident? Now let's dive into it. Please wait. Have you subscribed to this channel? If yes, thank you. But if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. Let's hit 1k through this video. Ward Meyer fans, please show me something. Show me something. Let's hit 1k through this video. Winkley Kobina Akon, popularly known as Ward Meyer, was born in the western part of Ghana. In a small village called Ahinkofi. That is why what Maya always says that I am a village boy. The village boy. Their story is very interesting. So, what Maya lived with his parents, her mom, and his father. They were a family of seven. The mom, the father, and five children. What Maya being the third born. Who such an interesting story so in this case they were living in a small compound where all the five siblings have to share one room that means life was very difficult back in the days life was not comfortable as how what my is living now where what my was born life was very difficult so what Maya had to sell skinky anytime he closed from school. What Maya had to help hey. his mom to sell skinky at the market when he closed from school. And one thing is that his elder brother, his elder brother, has to sell the kinky in the morning before going to school. Of course, at all the hardship. What my dad was very strict and wanted his children to be someone in future. So, what my dad had to enroll what my known as Kobina Akon into the most popular school in their town, West Ridge Primary, where what my had his basic school and his junior high school. What my was a good student. So, even as a result of that, what Maya gained had an award. And at the time that what Maya was going to collect his award, what Maya was wearing a torn uniform. And because of that, even the award was not presented to him in front of the assembly. In front of the students, they had to reserve his award and give it to him in a private place all because what Maya was in a, a torn uniform so that means life was very difficult and let me tell you one thing life was very difficult to the extent that what Maya had to share one toothbrush among his siblings they were five in numbers what Maya is a third born Yes, of course. Maya is a third born. So, after what Maya completing junior high school, he had the chance to go to Bompe Senior High, where he had his senior education over there at Bompe Senior High. Guys, don't go anywhere. I almost missed one thing. Do you know that what Maya was a footballer by then? Yes, Wodmeyer was a footballer, a baller. He was the best striker. He was the best striker in his team back in the days where he grew up. So after Wodmeyer completing senior high school at Bompe Senior High, he had the chance to travel to China. That was the first time Wodmeyer had to travel 
from his village western part of ghana to accra by then wadmire was still living in his town which he knew that he was the only ogre in the town yes so in 2012 wadmire had to travel all the way from western region to greater accra to go and secure for his visa to travel to china to go and study of which he gained a scholarship to go and study abroad in china so as a result of that wadmire traveled from ghana to china to go and study aeronautic engineer aeronautic engineer so as a as a matter of fact when wadmire went there and started his youtube journey when he got to china and one thing thing in china is that you cannot do youtube video over there so what maya had to anytime what maya want to upload a video online he had to change the vpn to different location to upload videos and what maya started creating videos friends were not giving him much attention many people were laughing at him what kind of videos are you doing what maya was creating funny videos and stuff he was just creating them he didn't have it in mind to create these videos that he is now creating now no he was just creating funny videos and stuff <laughs> comic videos and as a matter of fact his father was not in support of what he was doing yes his father was not in support of his youtube career and her mom was always at his back so that is where what maya gained the what maya name so the word maya means my mother my mother by then he was called mr ghana baby the village boy mr ghana baby the village boy so what man started creating videos videos had to beg people to to watch his videos had to beg people to subscribe to his channel because starting a youtube journey is very difficult and if nobody knows you it's very difficult for you to gain the views the subscribers it is very very difficult so what man had to beg people to watch his video at some point in time when he post video he will be the only person to watch the video that is very pathetic so what man got to realize that his channel has been moved from zero subscribers and gaining more subscribers so he said no i have to put much effort into this so what maya started creating videos content that is valuable to africans so what maya had in, in mind that no i have to concentrate on this youtube journey and do it better after completing i'm not going to work with this my certificates as an aeronautic engineer so when what maya completed school by the time that his channel has blew up his father also passed away wow what a story and now what man started traveling from places to places from african to african countries just to bridge the gap between africans that is where what man started gaining more followers more subscribers getting more attention started storming the world by the kind of content that he is creating what the maya has now put in smile on many faces of africans who 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 realize that they they have been stuck in the western world what maya has really been an inspiration to many africans living in the diaspora to come back to their roots to start something now what maya is everywhere if you pass everywhere in africa in the world what maya's name is there the guy that who started his youtube career people were mocking at him the village boy 
the most annoying boy and one thing about him is about his personality his uniqueness he just dressed up the way he was back in the days so people just love him every day making videos traveling to different parts of the world creating videos trying to bridge the gap between africans and now what my is reaping what he started back in the days when people were laughing at him people were mocking at him now what my has been a face that people used to watch and get inspired what man never had an intention of starting a youtube journey to 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 make it profession no he went to china to study aeronautic engineer but now see what man is traveling to places to places to create content that will break the gap between africans putting smile into people's faces changing the narrative of africa changing the narrative that people has um subjected to africans that african african country is very bad and african now what maya is bridging the gap between africans telling the western world that no africa is the future and now everybody in africa every youth in africa look to see up what maya and now many people has returned from the state from the western world to africa just because of what the Myers video that has really inspired them to come back to their roots the guy that started as the annoying village boy is now making waves is now storming the internet with the kind of content that he creates this is what maya now and he's enjoying life i hope you all learn something out of this whatever you are doing now just putting much effort into it and just to there will be a time people will come back to you and ask you how did you do it this is me kwame guy i was inspired by wadmaya kudu sheldon and magraheb to start my youtube career i mostly watch his videos any video so i got inspired at first i was nervous to start but looking back to his videos back in the days how he started i also got motivated to start up something let's all come together as one as africans and bridge the gap between africans this is me my name is kwame guy if you see me anywhere on your screen please give me a thumbs up like share my content let others too to see what i'm doing here kwame guy living in aguna swedru this is your boy what maya thumbs up bye bye